Welcome back, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the ROI analysis videos, and I hope they've given you a better understanding of how ROI analysis works. For most experiments, you will be mainly interested in the average value of the voxels within a mask, either the average parameter estimate or the average time series. I want to cover one more type of ROI analysis, an analysis in which, instead of averaging across all the voxels in a mask, you extract the values from each voxel separately. This can be useful in spectral analysis, where you need the time course of each voxel. Today we'll be doing that using AFNI's 3D mask dump. Remember that the AFNI commands work with any nifty image, and so you can use it with data processed in any software package. So if you're ready, let's get started. In my directory, I have a single run with 300 volumes, as well as a group mask. Both have been normalized to Tallyrack space. The mask covers the entire brain. The fMRI data is filtered and scaled. This is the data that would be used with 3D Deconvolve. I can look at the time course by clicking on the graph button and seeing the value at each time point at that voxel, as well as nearby voxels. Let's create a small mask in the anterior cingulate using 3D Undump and take a look to make sure the mask is where we think it should be. We can take another look at the voxel time courses within that mask. We will then use 3D Mask Dump to extract the time course from each voxel in the mask. I use the No IJK option and the XYZ option so that the output is an MNI coordinates. If I open up the text file, the first three numbers are the coordinates for the time course, followed by one number for each time point at that voxel. In this case, I have 300 time points, one corresponding to each volume. I also have 33 rows corresponding to each voxel in the mask. Let's see whether the output file matches up with the time course in the AFNI viewer. If I right click on the image window and select jump to XYZ, I can enter the coordinates negative 1.25, negative 31.25, 23.75. This will move the crosshairs to that voxel and I can zoom in to focus only on that voxel. The value at the first time point is 100.2331, matching up with my text file. The second time point should be 97.77419. And if I move to the next time point in the viewer, I can see that the numbers match up. And that's all there is to 3D Mask Dump. Try it with different masks and with the whole brain mask output by your software. As an exercise, extract the average time course or parameter estimate from a mask and then extract all the voxel values from that same mask. Take the average and see how they match up. I hope you find this a useful tool and I look forward to seeing you all very soon.